Fed up. A local liquor store owner says he is sick and tired of the break-ins at his shop. This, as we've discovered, those crimes could be linked to similar cases in three other counties. Five on your side investigator Scott Knoll live in Rocky River with the story all new at six. You can see the boarded up front door here. This is actually the third time these booze bandits have hit this place in just the last few weeks. The police car outside Minotti's Wine and Liquor becoming too familiar a sight for the store's owner. It's worse than a punch in the gut. It's just, and it gets frustrating the more it happens. And it's happened three times in the last six weeks. Thieves shatter Minotti's front door, then help themselves to thousands of dollars in booze and cigarettes. Each time they hit at night, and so far, always on the weekend. It's terrible. It's, it's you just sit there waiting for the hope that your phone doesn't ring. And when it does, you know what it is. Investigators tell News 5 they believe the break-ins could be tied to similar cases in three other counties. We were there as Rocky River Police reviewed surveillance video today, part of an ongoing investigation that the owner of this store hopes doesn't come up dry. Hopefully they can get to the bottom of this sooner than later. Hopefully next time I'm talking to you, they got guys in handcuffs. Minotti says in each case it's been a group of thieves that has hit his store. He says he believes they come with a plan that it doesn't take them long to get in and then back out and that they haven't bothered to hit any of the other stores in this shopping plaza. Live in Rocky River, I'm five on your side investigator Scott Knoll.